following this audio introduction, I will be doing four split shots. The distance from the striker to the black flag is a little more than six yards, around 19 feet. The distance to the red flag is around 11 feet, or a little bit under four yards. The angle is 70 degrees. Though you can't see it in this image, there's a flag stick about a yard or so in front of the striker, which represents the mid-angle point. The center peg is exactly midway between the black flag and the red flag. This perspective you have in this still image makes it seem that the peg is a little bit closer to the red flag, but rest assured it was measured accurately. The purpose of this video is to see what might be the best aiming point to try to have the balls go near the black and red flags respectively. The two balls are lined up parallel to the black flag. We would expect a fair amount of pull in this wide angle split shot and you will indeed see that. Clearly if I was trying to have the balls go exactly to the flags, especially the black flag for the croquet ball, I wouldn't be able to have this line set up in the way I do and have the balls parallel it. So the idea is we anticipate a lot of pull of the croquet ball and you will see actually a fair amount of pull in the first two shots of the striker ball. The third and fourth shots you will see the red flag moved in much closer to the striker representing a very wide angle stop shot. Again, the first of these two shots will be aiming at the mid-angle spot first and then the mid-line point second. What we're trying to put forward here is the most accurate way to aim to achieve the desired spots for the balls.